Horizon Zero Dawn was released almost two years ago and is still exclusive to the PS4. It's produced by Guerrilla Games, a first party studio, and published by Sony. You play as Aloy, a hunter in a world set a thousand years into the future where animal like machines dominate the land and humans are more primitive. Guerrilla Games is known for the Killzone series, and its sci fi and action roots are definitely strong points that carry over into this new universe. The transition into a third-person, open-world, action RPG is seamless and the game is polished, entertaining adventure that delivers a unique and satisfying story. From a gameplay perspective, Horizon Zero Dawn is like a cross between Mass Effect you... and the new Tomb Raider games. Really My favorite yeah, aspect of the game was definitely the story. I like the direction they went with, and if you love sci-fi and suspense, the story alone will be able to keep you playing till the end of the game, which took me 50 hours on the hardest difficulty. However, it should take half that time if you just want to experience the main story on the normal difficulty setting. With that said, it might not be enough for all players. Many, like 80% of the audio and text logs that reveal the game's story, is probably discovered during the last 20% of the game. This info dump caused the story to build up and then drag at the end as I had to keep stopping when I encountered a room full of these audio and text files. Looking into the RPG aspect of the game, I thought that the progression system was good, and I was always looking forward to investing the next skill point into the talent tree, or saving up currency from salvaging robot parts for that next weapon or gear upgrade. Other than the story, what I also really enjoyed about the game were the weapons, and the unique mechanic of removing components or hitting specific enemy parts with elemental damage. Each weapon had a specific purpose, such as tying down enemies, freezing them to deal more damage, fire to deal damage over time, or laying out trip wires for the enemies to set off. Each weapon and armor piece was also customizable with modifications that provided more damage to or resistance to different elements. This added the element of strategy and complexity most other games don't have. For me, one of the weakest points were the side quests and missions not related to the main quest line. While optional, this leads to boring side quests ranging from tracking down missing people to getting mixed up in political conflicts. I started the game trying to learn as much as I could about the different Without factions you meet by listening to all the optional dialogue. But towards the second half of my journey, I lost interest as they never really added anything interesting about the main story, so I ended up skipping more of the optional dialogue and just completed them for the experience, items, or skill points that they granted. While taking on the variety of machines was a highlight, the human enemies by comparison were dull. The evil mercenary group called the Eclipse were not memorable, didn't have any depth or motivation, and actually felt annoying as they were always getting in your way just when I wanted to reveal more parts of the story. As an overall experience, I would give this game a B+. Definitely something everybody should play for the story and gameplay, but I wouldn't recommend playing it on the very hard difficulty, as it just adds unnecessary frustration and seemingly impossible encounters you can't beat without cheap tricks by increasing the damage you take while decreasing the damage you deal. Thanks again for joining me on another video. If you want to read more about this game, go ahead and check out my full review in the description box below. And until next time, see you guys later. I see you don't recognize me. Wait, well, I know you, but something's missing. Teb is my name. You You're not fooling anyone, Ninja. Saved me.